Good morning. Firefighters here ended up battling a blaze at their own station. I got an inside look at how it all started. After 27 years as chief, this is a heartbreaking view for Ken Kiso. 30 years of building something just gone and half hour. A fire early Father's Day morning caused half a million dollars in damage here. And now Chief Kiso is sharing a first look at the surveillance video only with Channel 11. Camera stays on rolling the whole time as the flames are coming out. The chief says an ATV sparked in the garage to the left. You can see it here beginning to spread into this garage. The fire company saved this engine when firefighter Stephen Campbell rushed into the burning building and drove it out through a closed garage door, a moment you can barely make out here through the smoke. Once that happens, the fire burns bigger, then melts the camera. Other vehicles were still inside, an air rescue truck, a squad truck, and a rescue boat. Amazingly, the department only lost a few sets of gear out of 20, but they have to send it all away to be cleaned because of smoke damage. So they're thankful right now for the departments like Kennedy and Coriopolis, who've sent donations for them to use in the meantime. The support. The donations, unbelievable. Even though one whole side of the building is charred, this department is still operational with 20 volunteer firefighters. We'll be fine. We'll get it. We'll get it done. We're on our way. There is a GoFundMe page set up to help this fire department, but so far it's only raised 3,500 of the $10,000 goal. For a link to that site, you can look for this story on WPXI.com. Carly Flynn Morgan, Channel 11 News.